I mean, in order to really train with your dog, you have to have a relationship with them. Um, you can't just go into training and not know who they are. And that's where you start with engagement work. And engagement work is uh, engaging with your dog in play and, and asking them to do certain things and being outside with them and just normal uh, walks and things like that. When you're working with your dog, uh, you want to build that relationship with them through engagement work. And this is having your dog pay attention to you when you're walking, playing, uh, running, or whatever you're doing with your dog. You want him to pay attention to you so you're able to tell him what to do. But you have to build a relationship. Uh, you can't just get out and train your dog and think he's going to do what you ask him to do if you, if you don't have that relationship with him. So building through, as you can see, is having your dog look at you when you're talking, look at you when you're walking around. Even if your dog is off of a leash, your dog is paying attention to you um, no matter what you're doing. Okay, And to start that off... Uh, with engagement work is having your dog on a leash at all times. So when you're walking him or ha and having food with you or a clicker, uh, for them to be rewarded every time that they look at you. So in, this is a trained dog. So this dog, as you can see, is constantly looking at me as I'm walking around, okay? And engaging with me and only with me and not worrying about what's going on in the area. So he was taught to look at me every time. So every time that he's paying attention to me, he gets rewarded. Okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So as you can see, um, he's paying attention and I'm rewarding him for having him paying attention. I don't care about him jumping or everything. What we're doing is I want him to pay attention. Okay, so he gets rewarded with his ball every time that he pays attention to me. So this way that you can have your dog and you can play with your dog, okay, yeah. even on a leash or out of a leash, and he comes back and he does what you ask him to do. Drop, 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 good. Plop, good. Drop your ball, good. Drop, good boy. Cool. Good boy. Yes. Good job. Good. Drop. Good. Back. Back. Butt. Fly. Good boy. Okay. So as you can see, he's paying attention to me. He's not running off. All he wants to do is just play with his ball and he's paying attention to what I'm asking him to do. When you first get your new pup, um, you want to start building a relationship by having him look at you and keeping him on a leash at all times. So you start to build this relationship and also working him with him and watching you and then making him engage with you. So he's, as he's looking at you, I'm giving a, 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 a verbal cue of yes uh, to let him know that he's doing a good job and that reward is coming. The same with you as you can use with a clicker. So when he looks at me, I click and I reward. So this is, this is the way you want to start working with your pup. As you're walking with him, it's every time, Archico is calling back when he's sniffing around. Um, that's how you want to kind of start it off, um, just as he's walking around, and as soon as he's not, aren't you, just having him come back and engage with you, and you're rewarding to let him know that coming to you is the great is a great thing. So that's the way you want to kind of start off with a new puppy, and as they're outside, it's He's sniffing around, which is okay, um, but you want the puppy to always pay attention to what you're doing. Archie, yes, good job. So even if he's walking around and you haven't called his name to come to you and he looks up and he comes to you, you want to reward that because you want him to constantly 
look back at, at, with, uh, at what you're doing as he's playing around, but also keeping the puppy on the leash. And this is a very important that you got to remember that you want to keep the puppy on a leash at all times. You do not want to have him off of a leash. I don't let a puppy off a leash for quite a long time until I know uh, that the puppy is understanding the coming back to me. Uh, yes, good job. Yes, good job. So I want him to constantly look at me and the cup. So a lot of times having them off of leash until they are probably seven, eight, nine months old before you kind of start to uh, really let them off the leash and start working with them on coming back to you. So, as I was saying, as in building a relationship with your puppy, understanding what your puppy is doing, um, getting him to uh, respect and respect you, this is what you want to work on first before you go into training, um, is having him engage with you. Engagement and building a relationship is really the most, one of the first keys of building the relationship and foundation work with your dog. That's getting him to pay attention to you. Um, you kind of want to let the puppies and things off of the leash before it's time, and then we run into problems when um, the puppy runs away from you and that. So you want to make sure that you keep the puppy on a leash or your dog or a rescue dog or whatever you have on the leash until you know that he does understand what you're talking about. And sometimes if they keep doing that over and over again is something that you don't like, that means he might not understand it. So we have to differentiate, does he understand it uh, versus um, that he understands it, he's just not doing what he's asked to do. So the key points is keeping your dog on a leash, building a relationship with your dog, working on engagement work with them outside um, is one of your key points.